Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Having Fun with Google Results, Smiling Face. My name is André Almeida. Uh, I am a kernel developer from Brazil and I work at Vigalia, mainly on the CMAC uh, and uh, the AMD GPU driver. So, uh, this may sound familiar, so you are playing game on Linux and then something go wrong and then boom, uh, you have just a black screen, you need to boot your machine uh, to use your computer again. So yeah, GPU hangs are a real problem uh, on Linux right now. So in the past months I had an investigation and then trying to solve the problems, trying to figure out what's going wrong. So this is what happens if your GPU hangs on a discrete AMD GPU, usually. So and that happens because modern GPUs are very, very complex. Uh, as Melissa showed yesterday, uh, they have a lot of different features, a lot of different uh, compute units, uh, transistors, and on top of that, shaders are too complete. So you have a lot of undecided problems to know if your shader will stop eventually or not. So this is uh, a pipeline for just for the display of uh, AMD. And the thing is, uh, if you have an infinite loop in the CPU, it's not that bad. Uh, because the way that we abstract the CPUs, we kind of have isolation of a process and this kind of stuff. So it's very rare that uh, one bad program can completely take down your computer because the task scheduler will try to make everyone a chance to work on. We have memory isolation and CPU isolation. But on GPU, things are more bare-bound. Things are more close to uh, the metal. Things don't have that much of abstractions. So a single uh, uh, graphical application can just take over of all GPU resources at the same time. So if you hang, uh, you have an infinite loop on the GPU, uh, the display won't be able to update anymore. So now we're going to, to have a look what, what happens from the, uh, when a GPU hangs from the hardware to, to the application. So uh, Mesa asks the kernel to submit a job to the driver, to the hardware. So the kernel drivers uh, submit the job to the hardware. But uh, as, as I said before, um, shaders are too complete, so we have the halting problem that we can't really decide if a given problem, uh, if a given program will ever uh, stop running. So we need to check for fences if, uh, to see if the program is uh, doing progress or timeouts. If something takes too long to run, we uh, believe uh, that this is going in an infinite loop. So we decide that the GPU is hanging and then we try to queue it. And now the kernel drive needs to do uh, the soft reset so we can step out of this hang state. And this is very vendor specific. Uh, each hardware supports different types of resets. So we have what is called soft resets that will only reset the, the context or the engine that has problems. And we also have full device resets. And uh, for my what for what I found is that discrete AMD GPU struggles with per context resets. It usually is just go for a full reset on most of times, and that means a total loss of uh, VRAM. So if your game crashes, probably uh, GNOME or whatever compositor you're using will also get crashed. Okay. Anyway, now that the the kernel driver uh, saw that the the hardware was stuck, we need to report that to user space. Um, so now Kernel and Mesa will talk together, but unfortunately DRM has no API for that. So what we have is uh, each driver implement this in a different way. So for Intel, we have get reset stats. On AMD, we have context op, uh, op, op carry. Uh, we also have MSM param faults. Uh, some drivers just don't have a specific API as well. They just return error for IO controls. And as far as uh, I tried to find, I, I wasn't able to find any of these uh, reset report for Raspberry or Vivante. But in fact, this is part is not really hard specific. We could have a common DAM uh, API for that. That would be very helpful, helpful for uh, the whole stack, as I will show later. 
Okay, so now uh, Mesa needs to, to talk to application that something went wrong. So some drivers before submitting comments or uh, issuing wait operations, they will ask the kernel if the device is around. And for Vulkan, if they, they find out that device is not around, they will propagate Vulkan uh, error device loss uh, above to the app. And then maybe the app can do something about that. Uh, if the app wants to be robust, they will uh, recreate the context or just exit. And uh, also we have an ex Vulkan extension uh, that uh, to carry about uh, query information about the reset uh, because error device loss does, I mean, it's an error code for a bunch of things and you can uh, make a lot of decisions on, around that. So we have this extension to talk to explain what was uh, the fault. So this is how Vulkan uh, works. And on OpenGL, uh, for uh, the initial versions, there was uh, no API for that, for robustness, or for to check if things go uh, went wrong on the, on the hardware side. So uh, OpenGL drivers, before they, do, they make a new context creation or to flush comments, they check, they ask the kernel if a reset has happened. And if the app has uh, ARB robustness support, it will propagate uh, this uh, some kind of error to the OpenGL application. And otherwise, so this part is controversial. Uh, we don't have consensus in the community of what should we do if the app has no robustness. Um, some people believe that the driver should, should just kill the application because the, the application is misbehaving and is uh, not allowing the user to, to have a good experience, it's crashing the GPU. And uh, other developers believe that it's better just to block the new calls for this app, but keep the app around because the OpenGL context is just a part of the, the application. Um, so Mesa, uh, as, I sh as I show here, uh, we, we have APIs. On the graphic APIs, we have ways to tell to application that something went wrong. So for Vulkan, it's usually uh, VK error device loss. And for OpenGL, we have the ARB robustness. And uh, as I said, some, sometimes no robust apps are just killed. But even robust apps can misbehave and they can get in a broken loop. And, uh, and Mesa and Kernel, they can come up with policies to ban file descriptors if they keep resetting the GPU. So what I'm trying to show here is that the landscape is really complex and we are trying to build consens consensus on what to do, but uh, we have a lot of different hardwares and a lot of different strategies here. So uh, if the application is really robust, uh, it will recreate the context after a, a reset. So usually that goes like, oh, my submission return a, a reset error, but this is just the GPU state. Uh, the CPU state, everything is preserved, so you have all the information that you need to create the states again, and, and then you can just keep going. And this is uh, just a small um, shader that I wrote that if I run this on my MD GPU, discrete GPU, it will just uh, crash the whole uh, graphics stack. It's just uh, a small infinite loop. but. I tried with different uh, vendors and different uh, OSs, and the results are very different. So what we can can do here to improve the situation? So the DRM and Mesa is not really hard specific. We could have something in common. And this would help because right now, uh, both on the kernel side and Mesa side, for dealing with resets, everyone does something completely different. So it's hard to have a common code. If, if you found a bug, you need to uh, check other drivers if they have this bug or not. Um, yeah, common code is always, always not, I mean, usually a good way to go here, but we can't do, do have that right now. And uh, me and other uh, user space and kernel developers, we managed to merge this patch uh, to document DRM device reset expectations. So it should be on the next kernel release. It's basically uh, DRM documentation explain what DRM drivers should do when a reset happens. And it's basically uh, explained that uh, if possible, uh, the DRM driver should go for per context resets. And 
the interface of dumping uh, a horse is not uh, DMASC, it should be a dev core dump. So you can uh, hopefully someday integrate that with uh, CI or something like that so people can report better uh, hang uh, hangs. Um, so I proposed this IO control uh, called DRM uh, get reset, where we would have uh, you ask for a, you, you give to the kernel context ID and you ask the kernel how many resets this context has faced. And the problem with that uh, is that we don't have a global context concept on DRM. Each driver understands context as a different thing. So that's why it was rejected. But uh, it will make the driver, the, the user space side, so much simpler. So every driver will just need to implement something like that. Uh, would be simplify a lot. Uh, so if you find out that this context has some resets, that means that this context is the cute one, so you can return that to, to user space. Or if you don't find any uh, res uh, reset count for this context, but you find something for the device, that means that some other context had reset the GPU. And uh, what, what I found out in practice that before, uh, there was no reset check at RADV, so I implemented the VK check status for RADV, so now RADV can tell applications that uh, uh, can tell applications, send applications the error code when a reset happens. Uh, for Radeon SI, there was a, a reset check, but the driver would always return context reset forever. Uh, so the app would fa you would see that a reset has happened, so it would recreate the context, and then would say to the kernel, hey, I have a new context, but the kernel say, no, a context reset has happened, so you have this loop forever. Uh, so we fix that as well. Um, so for Intel, uh, that is a reset check, but only notify the good application that a reset has happened. And this works because Intel has a very good per context uh, reset, but it's kind of tricky because if some con other context is uh, affected by reset, we we'll have no idea that a reset has happened. So yeah, the application needs to be lucky to choose to alive. And as I said before, different kind of resets will have different uh, impacts. So what I found out is we don't have much shared code, not much standardization, no, not a lot of end-to-end -end testing and validation. And each vendor reacts different to resets. And uh, my most of my experience is on AMD. Uh, the state for discrete GPUs is that is usually unrecoverable for any kind of reset. But for APUs uh, like the Steam Deck, the reset is much more reliable. Uh, so you you usually get a black screen, but uh, sometimes you can uh, do remote access and figure out what's happened. And as I explained, uh, Pierre uh, from MD and I, we work together to, to improve that for KDE, uh, because as I said before, Radeon SI wasn't following the spec, it was just returning reset forever. Uh, but yeah, we need more tests here for sure. And on other uh, OSs, you have a lot of more control of the stack, so they develop the, the, the user kernel driver, user space driver, the compositor, sometimes they only have only one compositor, so it's so much easier to standardize the behavior in all the stack, but uh, on Linux we have a lot of different things all over the stack. And a part of that, a part of uh, telling user space applications that the reset has happened, we would like to tell uh, to give as much information as possible uh, to the users so they can reliably tell uh, the driver developers what happened. Because right now, uh, people just go to uh, the issue tracker and say, this game crashed here. And uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to, to tell what, what happened there. And sometimes even this game crashed here after you know, uh, 20 hours of playing, so you're like, how can I reproduce this? So it would be very useful for uh, driver developers if they had uh, more information of what hanged the GPU in the first place. 
Uh, so yeah, they have a, a hard time figuring out what happened. Uh, and on top of that, GPU hangs, um, they have two main sources. So we have hardware settings. So on MD, uh, if the power management is too aggressive, it will change the voltage and frequency very often. And sometimes we, we don't know exactly why. Uh, this can put the, the hardware in a bad state and uh, we just hang the hardware. So the game itself wasn't bad or doing some infinite loop. Uh, it was just out of luck. And of course, we also have application errors where your app does something that doesn't make sense or to go, uh, so maybe get an infinite loop. And right now, there's no way to distinguish from those two. So yeah, we also would be very useful for us to have a way uh, to know from the hardware uh, to distinguish those two things. Uh, so we ideally, we could have could deploy something uh, with no overheads and that we can enable by default, like on the Stinex. So every uh, person playing on the Stinex will have a reliable way to send to to Valve uh, an automatic report when, when something goes wrong. Uh, so I propose the MDGPU info Gut app to capture that data about that. Uh, so you would ask your kernel uh, after a reset what, what happened, and the kernel will show you some registers value, so you will be able to track which buffer was running when things crashed, or which instruction was the one that was running the moment that it got hang. Uh, but uh, the AMD uh, kernel developer they replied to me that uh, we can't really trust the register values after a reset. Uh, so yeah, we probably need some firmware support at this point to have something in the firmware that can reliably save uh, the state of the hardware on a reset. But uh, unfortunately, uh, firmware is out of the scope of uh, someone outside of AMD. Um, so yeah, we, we need some comparison. Um, and we have on RadV, we have the RadV debug hang option here, uh, but it's always not always effective because it inserts a lot of uh, fences and synchronizations and to, of, to the application. And sometimes when you change the order of things, the things just stop uh, broken. So uh, this option not always can be, be used to reproduce things. And uh, so we have now this challenge to how to get the infor, uh, information from the, the hardware in a reliable way and in a way that we can deploy to everyone. So all in all, uh, the roadmap to have better GPU results on Linux would be to have a better standardization of how the uh, report CPU hangs to user space of how user mode drivers deal with hangs and with the Gute application, with the queue or not, the, the, the Gute application, uh, what compositors should do after a hang. And also, we need better hang log to show which buffer caused the hang in the first place, uh, find a reliable way uh, to dump the hardware state, and to use uh, the ARM driver should use DevCore dump to uh, deploy that. And also, we need tests, a lot of tests all over the stack to find out, uh, to, to keep track of that if resets are working. So here I have a bunch of links if you want to see the discussion that we're having. Uh, this is a Windows after a GPU hang in the, the good days. And, uh, and yeah, that, that was it for my presentation. Uh, do we have questions? Charlie? Yes, first, thank you for your presentation regarding to the MD GPUs. And actually, uh, I'm from MD and also work for the MD GPU kernel. Cool. And you know, and uh, we, uh, in MD GPU, from our side, we probably provide several types of GPU reset, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there is mode one, mode two, mode zero. So each level of a GPU reset, they have uh, reset different 
hardware engines. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking further, uh, for example, uh, the mode zero, we will reset everything. Mm -hmm. And the mode two, uh, mode one, we will support each IP block mm -hmm. uh, in the MTGP kernel. And uh, in mode two, uh, we will only reset the graphics. Yeah, so how the user space driver can detect different reset type or we will treat the reset all the same? Cool. Um, so first of all, I, uh, I tried to find out uh, which different mode uh, meaning, uh, what was the meaning of mode zero, mode one, and I couldn't find that, so if you can document that, uh, would be very good for me, uh, but, but thanks for the information. And right now there's no way to tell to user space uh, which, reset, which kind of reset has happened. Uh, we will need to add something, a new field to dev core dump, that this is what we, we are using right now, to tell you uh, to collect the log after reset. So uh, yeah, we can talk later too. I can, I can show that. Uh, yeah, and also another question we got to: uh, we faced uh, quite a few problems after uh, reset. We you know we were always uh, some of uh, user scenario we were, we were lost the video memory. So mm -hmm. that's a terrible since we yeah. cannot resume the VRAM. Mm -hmm. And how to recovery uh, from the GPU reset after GPU, you, you know, the, the challenger is, uh, is from the, actually, the resume from the GPU reset, right? Mm -hmm. And how to recover the video memory to, the, uh, to, to make the user space can work smoothly after the GPU reset. Yeah. yeah, so the way to do that is with uh, robust user space applications. So uh, when uh, the Mesa asks to the kernel if uh, something bad has happened, uh, Mesa will, uh, sorry, the kernel will, will tell to your application, hey, sorry, the kernel will tell to Mesa that a reset has happened, and Mesa will uh, relay this information to the application. So each application is responsible for recreating their own contexts, and this is how you recover from uh, a GPU hang. So, but yeah, we, we need to, everyone on the stack need to do that, basically. Everyone on the stack needs to be uh, aware of that reset resets can happen and should be robust enough to recreate the graphics context. So that's is what why do we have those APIs? So user space can recreate everything. Thank you. So um, for non-robust applications, uh, is there any reason why we couldn't just uh, dump the content, uh, contents of VRAM and then reload it after the reset? Um, to dump the contact? So you would need to, to be sure that this information has survived the reset, right? The VRAM had survived the, re the reset. I mean, uh, before the reset, you could save the contents of the memory somewhere, and then after the reset, restore it. Okay. Um, or is that impossible? I, d I don't know. I never thought of that, but uh, that's in history. And um, so you would need to have something on the kernel side to manage that, like a swap thing, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I can answer okay, these questions sure. first. <laughs> And uh, in MD GPU, we will have a shadow buffer to save the context before the reset, then, then can get resume actually, uh, you know, once we face the read memory lost, and then we can copy the shadow buffer into the original buffer. Yeah, that, that can handle by the kernel driver, yeah. I see. Um, okay, I think this is it. Thank you very much.